Hi, welcome back. So, hope you understand uh, about datums placement in the previous section. And now we will see data placement with some simple example. Yeah. As I said, there are three datums this is the representation of datums this is the representation of any data so just we will take some simple example before that uh, I would like to tell something about uh, planes zero planes so these are similar to datums but not that much important than datums zero plane we use for taking dimensions it is an imaginary plane taken on surface of a component or in between the component anywhere just for purpose of dimensioning right so first we will see a simple plate without zero planes this is the main view and this is the side view how we have to select the data assume that this is a plate so maximum surface area is this one this is the side view and this is the main view maximum surface area where this component is going to mate or assemble assume that this is the maximum surface area because I know that it is assembling like this so I consider this as a maximum mating surface so this is called as a or this is taken as datum A which is called as a primary datum next one portion is arrest one surface is fixed or arrest as I said 3 2 1 principle or x y z one direction is arrest next we have two directions next mating component this plays a major role in fixing a component primary data so next one I know that this is going to assemble like this with respect to this one like this this is the mating surface so this surface is going to mate then I consider to take this as B data obviously this surface take as C data remember that all the three datums should be perpendicular to each other we should not should not take datum B here as well as datum B here because it lies on the same surface or datum B here you 
if you take datum b here take datum z here so each and every datum should be perpendicular to each other we should not take datum c here because this is parallel and it shows only one direction either y x or z only if you consider this as x direction if you consider this as x direction datum b is in x direction as well as datum c is also in x direction which results in failure of the component because we are fixing this component like this we are not fixing here arresting here then it will move like this so if you arrest here it is a perfect placement of datums right should not take on the parallel surface each and every datum should be perpendicular to each other as we see x y z coordinate system see in x y z coordinate also x y and z all three will be perpendicular to each other in perpendicular directions so this is about the placement of datum without zero plane then we can start dimensioning next thing we have to qualify or we have to use all the datums in a future control frame that means we have to we call as qualifying datums whatever the datums or how many datums you take all the datums should be qualified in a future control frame with the help of gdnt right so here as i said each and every dimension should have a tolerance but here none of the dimension have tolerance so for this i use one of the symbol of gdnt profile we call as a profile of a surface or profile tolerance some value it depends on the mating component each and every tolerance it depends on the mating component only we should not take the tolerance as we wish right 2 a b and c here this is the profile tolerance all the dot and datums are qualified in the profile tolerance and the tolerance for this dimensions will be taken from here and some people use different types of nodes for this profile tolerance some people say all dimensions profile tall some people say unless otherwise specified this profile tall and some people say dimension without tolerance or use profile like this it depends but the basic idea is profile tolerance will be given in a similar way wherein dimension for all the surfaces will be taken from here suppose i have given tolerance of 0.5 because i don't want tolerance of 2 over here based on the mating condition just i am deciding that i don't want plus or minus 2 tall for 100 dimension so in that case i can specify my own tolerance for that particular dimension i need only 0.5 dimension 
So a tolerance for that 100 dimension. Then what does it indicate? It is applicable for 50 as well as 5 measurement, 5 dimension. This tolerance is applicable for these two. So this is the way we have to consider datums and we have to qualify the datums based on the mating components. Right? Yeah. We take one more example. It can be a different one. To explain you clearly, I have taken a simple one. We know how to dimension a simple plate uh, with outer surfaces without any future on the plate. We have seen it previously. Now, some side view now we will see how to dimension this one we know how to dimension the outer surfaces now we will see how to dimension this one first one so in this we can take zero plane as well as without zero plane we can take anything now we can, we can consider zero plane. I know that this is the mating component so I have taken this as datum A and I know that this is the second contact surface so I have taken as zero to this one is 0 3 here comes datum B and here comes datum C so from 0 plane we are going to take this dimension 2 into 100 because there are two surfaces And here one cell. one more surface, something around uh, seventy, something around twenty, something around seventy. Thickness will be approximately 5 I think we have given all the dimensions for the outer surface now comes the hole so here you have taken A, B, C on the surface there are two conditions when we select A, B, C on the surfaces there won't be any maximum material boundary applicable in the future control frame and there won't be any LMB 
and the datums wherever we use in the JOTAL, we give completely as ABC. Suppose if you take this datum on the future, then MMB or LMB is going to take place. So this is the whole, suppose this is of diameter 50 plus or minus 1, this is of diameter 40 plus or minus 1 and we are, here we are going to give some dimension 10 and here something around 80 10 something around 80 right this is the way we have to provide dimension for the hole and what about the tolerance as I said for axis also tolerance for axis will be considered from the profile tall this is called as a size tolerance this is called as a size of the hole or size of the future and this is we call as a size tolerance and this we call as a position tolerance this we call as a position position dimension so even for position also we can take tolerance from this profile tall and for normal dimensions also for this future di dimensions also we can take tolerance from this profile tall so that is why you call as a profile tall as king of the tolerance right so this is one of the way of dimensioning a whole future with respect to datums on surfaces we call this as datum taken on surfaces right so in the next section we will see about future control frame and what is the condition if we take or what is the situation if you take datums on futures what are the different types of GDNT that we come across in the future control frame right hope you understand about the data placement if you like this section please subscribe share or comment right meet you in the next section Thank you.